Duende. So guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Ian. Those who So for those guys who do not know me, my name is Ian. Many of you know, know me as Ashi. Welcome to another episode of Life on a Motorcycle. So on my way here, I came with this bike. Yo, man, look at that. And uh, my rider is right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For those who know him, mm, also, what's Welcome up? The chef. <clears throat> so, um, yo, I was a pillion and I don't know, man, it was fast. Yo, just have a look at what happened. ever been a pillion i don't know comment comment down there i mean what was your experience like and um i don't know should i go on another bike should i be a pillion on another bike i don't know you guys comment down there let's just roll on in the intro My name is Edu the Chef and this is my life on a motorcycle. Most guys know me as ETC, the initials for Edu the Chef. Uh, I'm a chef by profession, I ride a CBR 1000RR. Uh, motorcycles nilianza kitambo kiasi, I have been loving them since I was young. Growing up, I used to work for Kenya Power, so I had that small bike. Ya the DT. So I used to see him ride na admire. So growing up nilienda tu nikipenda bikes. The career I took being a chef, I do events. By me doing events na jipata ni kona events kadha within a weekend and I need to appear in all of them. So I put up some cash and I bought myself the first bike. And my first bike was a CBR 600RR. Sikuwa nataka itoke kwa eyesight. Nikuwa nataka hata ilale next to the bed. Just seeing it killer time, eh? I was so excited about the bike and I loved it so much. I believe motorcycles is not something you can just come up with. Uh, you are born with it. It comes from inside riding a motorcycle. Not everyone rides a motorcycle and they're also convenient. In terms of Kiangalia traffic, Venyeko, right now in Kenya around Nairobi, there's a lot of traffic, convenience faster to do your errands. I think motorcycle is everything that you need to just go about your errands. At first, uh, my family was scared or to own a, a lot of risk where there is, as long as you're careful. My dad supported me, still supports me till to date. My brothers also do support me. Some of them are now into riding, pole pole. My mom is still a little bit scared but uh, and I get used to it. So uh, yeah, so far so good. Perceptions ziko kibao. Most people think uh, biking is a cult. When you know when it's too risky, it's someone who it's it's suicidal. But I don't think that's uh, that's the thing because uh, being on a motorcycle and you're careful, you're disciplined, uh, wanna stick to the road rules. You get your time to get the experience and the skills to handle your motorcycle best. There are a lot of crazy things, eh? Kobarabara. We have uh, what to reckless sana in driving. So there's this one time I was quite fast, but then there's this guy who just turned, made a U-turn. He was on phone. It was clearly close to a bend. So the guy indicated. I could indicate left, so I thought the guy had seen me. So I started accelerating. Then the guy ni kama alikuwa amepotea. So he was on phone ni kama ameambiwa ah umeenda sana. So he decided to do a U-turn with a left indicator and he went to the right side. So nili had break. At first my thought was in the ile siku. But then again nili had break. The bike handled it. I had a BS na kila kitu. I stopped next to the uh, driver's Door. He parked at the side coming to apologize. He can notice at a likwana family and Danny. So it was it was disappointing sana kwa mtu kupulmove kama hiyo. 
having a whole family with two small kids in Danyagari. So I think on a motorcycle hiyo ndio ile kitu crazy. Isha hii happen mpaka nikafikiria kana za chana na. You know being uh, being on a motorcycle it scares you. You need to be afraid also and you also need to be confident in everything you're doing. So kama being close to such an accident ningetiboniyo gari atungejua what could have happened there after. But the confidence I had, eh? I was too scared, but again I had the confidence that I'm going to stop. So when I stopped, I actually nili tumbo ilijamaji proper. Nilifikiria mara mbili sana when this thing happened, but it happened. So yes, ilinipatia nguvu sana to continue doing whatever we do. The motorcycles bring a lot of attention to the rider and also to it's it's quite challenging and also to the bike. They are loud, they are good looking machines. So whenever we stop, napata mtu anakuja kukuuliza maswali, wants to know more about the motorcycle, how you feel being on the motorcycle. So attention you kuja, saingine ni difficult kwa sababu you, you you find yourself even with bad people. I mean, yes, when you anakuja kukuuliza, but most of them are just people being attracted to bikes or maybe they want to know more information about the bikes and the biking community. So that maybe in the few in the in the future they might join biking has a lot of challenges one it's a very expensive passion to keep up with sometimes you get the passion is there unataka ku ride sana but maybe bike inahitaji some parts and it can't uh, i wish move unajipata una uko in a state and maybe hauko na do at that point so unaweza jipata sengine unaweza kuwa na that pressure yani you want to do it but uh, again hauna another thing unajipata uko kwa highway na watu wengi don't follow rules they don't indicate they they don't change lanes they don't stick to their lanes matatus can drop off people anywhere on the highway people crossing from anywhere unaweza pata hata mtu cross under the footbridge so those are the kind of challenges on a motorcycle na dozinaeka most of people are at risk the pedestrians are at risk the bikers themselves are at risk in such ways uh. when did you first race and uh, what made you to be interested in racing since kitambo have been attending the, the the races that were being held by TSA back from 2013 and it was so exciting i could see now those we call the old boys who started racing way back and i used to admire what they do i used to attend each and every race that ilikuwa inapangwa nilikuwa na follow sana nikachapatize did a lot of practice before i decided to race because it's also risky at some point kama hauna hiyo skill you're not ready it might be very challenging for you to, to, to participate. So niliji, nilifanya practice, started racing in 2017 in our first race in Jakaranda. Kutoka hapo in 2018 we did the drag race. Moving on, kufanya twist, we have uh, the Moto Champ in that race. So Moto Champ, uh, you accumulate points through different races to the last one, which is a final. Then uh, whoever has the most points, Uh, is uh, awarded the winner dream bike i think ni kona bikes mingi sana being on a bike is already a dream man <laughs> kuna kuna bikes mingi sana na is ataka ku ride even owning them my first bike i would love to own it's a Kawasaki Ninja ZX10 RR with a double R it's quite fast it's a 1000 cc and also very light It goes to, uh, to a speed of uh, 299 has like around uh, 200 kgs the handling of your bike is amazing i would say honda hondas have uh, good handling on corners but uh, they are not as fast but the zx10 is faster and handles also is very sound you know that this uh, biker community is slowly growing so how would you describe this community that you are also part of the bike was community kuna mali ilikuwa imefika it was stuck so ilikuwa it's it's a biking for a certain group of people with like a certain class yeah a certain class of people so that's where in fact we got inspiration of Konza Road Warriors we started doing um, buses by the roadside and calling everyone who's on a bike to bring them together come work as one 
the unity so that we get to know each other kila siku tunapata challenges unaweza pata ume break down mahali you don't know anyone from around that place who could help you road warriors ilianzia hapo and uh, since then we've been able to accommodate people from different classes different background races religion it doesn't matter what cc bike you have you might have a small bike you might have uh, the, uh, the zx14 which is a 400 cc but all are being accommodated in the same same group bodas are, are different but you might have a 150 cc of a boxer which is being used by boda boda guys but uh, you know for them they, they, they put themselves aside in not following rules, not gearing well. It's more of a job. But if you get someone who has the same same 150cc and uses it to commute to work and enjoys, enjoys it, that's already a biker. As long as ako apo, following rules, getting insurance, vitu kama insurance, personal cover, being disciplined ko barabara, we can still accommodate that kind of a person. Yeah. Has um, riding changed your life in any way? Yeah, it has changed my life a lot. Wakati siko na ride. Kipata stress, ina kukula. But right now, once you get stressed or you think about something else, you just get on your bike and just ride. It's like a therapy. Na pia imefanya ni kue faster in moving. Kazi, you get clients, you meet them in 10 minutes. Instead of now hopping on the car, it has really even improved my movements na kila kitu, even kikazi. For the new riders, you have to be disciplined, kubarabara. Always take your time to make sure you are safe first, always. Uh, even if uh, you've just bought a bike, na maybe a subu you want to go for breakfast, always gear up, va helmet, va gloves, va jacket, va your boots. We've had uh, people who've crashed going for breakfast, going for bread to the shop. So foot on your gear, proper, proper gear. Secondly, Kobarabara, always be careful. We have uh, reckless drivers. The others, when you want to take join, you can get a small bike. Don't rush into getting a big bike, a 1,000cc. Just because you have the cash to purchase one, always take your time to build that skill. Now, but experience on a smaller bike, it will be safer for you. We've had people going uh, for bikes. They go buy a big bike, you on a pesa, and end up dead. Lazima you grow through time, through a bike to another bike, maybe from a 150 to 250, 250 to maybe 400, then a 600, then you go to 1,000. Top speed, ni mefanya ni bike, 299. But we always do that on closed roads during races. We don't want to risk your life doing 299 on highways that anything can happen. And at that speed, if anything happens, if you hit a car, if you go head on by a car, your chances of survival are close to zero. It's a good feeling. Actually, saying you know, pata barabara in a blur, you just see a green blur and a grey blur. But you have to stick to the grey one. Make sure you just don't go to the bush at that speed. <laughs> Uh, the feeling on a motorcycle is uh, out of this world. Being on a motorcycle is uh, something wonderful. There is a set of freedom. Having the fresh air from different places, different countries, is just out of this world. You can't always, always explain with Uri. I think the best thing is to get on a bike and just ride. Then you get the feeling. My name is Edu the Chef, and that's my life on a motorcycle. So guys, that was Edu the Chef, ETC. I hope you've learned more about him, and I hope you enjoyed the, this interview. We've come to the end of this episode. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below and tell me which other rider you'd like to see on this channel. I hope to get more riders, and I hope to get to more events so that you guys enjoy this channel. Remember to share, like and subscribe to my channel.